Ever since I saw FPV videos on YouTube, I wanted to get into it. After researching on various websites, it seemed that it was very technical and a lot of the projects out there were custom made. In other words, the airplane had been built and separately video had been added. So I searched on Google and searched for an all-in-one solution and this aircraft came up, the Hubson Spyhawk. Now I've had this aircraft for about a year and it's been great for me. A lot of the reviews when it came out were mixed saying that it was for beginners. But I think a lot of the people reviewing the aircraft at the time got an ve early version of it because a lot of the things that were complained about on their reviews have been fixed I think. For example, my one has got the antenna, it's got sort of a, a casing around it. And it is on the bottom, but like I say, I've had this a year and it's still transmitting video perfectly for me. Another thing that they did was, which I don't really use actually, is they had the ability to turn stability off. But I tend to find that when doing FPV, it's really handy to have stability. Because this aircraft, when you're getting up to, you know, a thousand, one thousand, three hundred feet uh, of a sort of a guesstimate of how high I can get this aircraft then it's difficult to know if you are level if you're looking line of sight and also you looking at the transmitter as well when you're that high up you, it's difficult to know how far away you are so I always like to keep an eye on the plane as well and that comes on to the next subject really which is yes you don't get goggles with this setup but I tend to fly the aircraft on my own, I don't have a spotter, so for me it seems much safer to not use the goggles. Also the goggles are really expensive as well, and we're still talking with standard definition here when it comes to goggles, so I prefer this setup. Now this is very cheap, I think you can get the aircraft now for about £159 in the UK. I got this one from Maplins, and then the Mobius you're looking at about £43 and I got that from Banggood so it's quite a cheap setup considering people are spending 250 almost £300 just on the goggles this is a FPV setup that y you just put together and it's pretty much ready to go I will mention that I have glued my wings in I didn't do that initially, in fact I've only done that recently, I was flying it around and the wings folded eventually, I think uh, after a few heavy landings and the wings popping out, sort of, uh, for safety reasons really, well not not safety, the wings kind of pop out when you have a crash and they're, they seem to stay intact, but I've glued them in now, they were getting too loose, like I say they folded up on me in the air and that's how I got this missing part out of the aileron. One thing that I have done as well is I bought this battery. It's an Overlander 860 milliamp and I get about 30 minutes flying out of this. I set my timer for about 20 minutes just to make sure that I've got enough time because when the battery runs out on this aircraft you lose everything. After doing a couple of tests on the ground I've never lost it in the air so far. So that's it, this is my recommendation. I I've been flying for about 20 years and maybe it is a beginner's style aircraft but you tend to find that anyone doing FPV from this type of aircraft is using a beginner style plane. That's because you want it to be smooth in the air, you want it to be stable, you want to get good shots, you don't want jerky shots. I've got a 3D aeroplane that I connected this Mobius to and the footage just wasn't usable just because it was getting blown around and knocked around up there. And I, as you'll see from the footage uh, in a moment, I think this does a pretty good job. You know, the gyro does a good job in keeping the aircraft stable as well. Um, I did have to make a modification under the canopy there to fit this battery and I just cut away some of the foam and the battery fits in fine. So, uh, yeah, that's that's it really. I, I'll I'll show you the footage of the aircraft and see what you think. <laughs>